Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the different types of um, store designs and tricks and tips on how to start up your own store. So let's get. Get into it. So the store design. If you're a beginner, I suggest you use this design. Well, this store, basically. This store is only $50 every 5 minutes, if, which is really, like, not much. If you're a gunsmith, you receive $200 every 5 minutes. So, it doesn't really matter. So, if, when you, so this, after, if a pot is open, it allows you to, let's say I move my pot, right? If, if your plot is empty, this is what you can do. You can claim, you can click F to claim, then you can claim it. So when you claim your shop, this I already have the same thing. This is how you should customize it. So um, first, when you look in front of the store, you should have a sign that says your create, that says the name of your store. That says the name of your store, which is for me, it is half and a half buns. And you could use, I, I suggest you use the um, tax sign Y and customize it to say, no, say your name. And, and so, and when you, and I suggest you put your, um, uh, your store name in caps and that's it. And my, so what I did here was I put my second sign. I mean, well, this is my actual sign that I had. And I use it to say prices can be lower. Low, well, it's actually prices can be negotiable, but I, I just made so I made this as prices can be lower for Red Mafia, which is the new addition from the update uh, gangs. So I'm not in Red Mafia right now, but I used to be when I made this pot. So that's why I said that. So let's get into the inside design. Indoor design if this guy moves. Okay. So what I suggest is when you get inside, you put your prices in you put your prices right in front of the customer. So when they walk in they can see your prices. For example, and what I suggest for your products prices is to be only hundred dollars more. So you make hundred dollars profit each time. So you make hundred dollars of profit each time. So what I did from Uzi is one. So my Uzi is usually to buy in your team shop. It is one thousand two hundred. So I made one thousand three hundred, and my pistols are four hundred. Well, I think yeah, they're four hundred to buy in team shop, and I made them five hundred in my shop. So, so if you another tip tip that I can give you for your price listing is. I suggest you use, if you, it depends on how many products you have, so if you have three products, I suggest you put three signs and a one tech wide text, wide sign. So what I did here was I used one sign for that says Uzi, only four, and I made a big um, white text sign, and I listed the numbers under like this. I did this, SS 1300, and I did a couple of spaces, SS 500. And it shows the the prices of the, your products. So another tip that I, I I should give you is um, use bars because there's use all. So I suggest what you do is you put counters down and you put bars and you put it on your door to have your own space to sell stuff to your customers. Because if you do a hand to hand um, product selling, people mostly see that. So people see that you're trying to sell a like a product. What they can do is kill you and pick it up for free. So these bars block that. Like nobody can shoot through these bars. I can I can um I can give you I can show you if you guys want. This guy's trying to pick my lock. I'll be right back after I kill this guy. Come back guys, sorry about that, I had a little disturbance um, because I'm playing in a public server. So, what I was saying is, you should use bars because people, 
people can chill you and take the piece of uh, product you're trying to sell. So what I suggest is using bars and use an owner door to get into your store and lock it so that people can't get in this, get into the um, this, this place. So there's a back room in this um, plot. You could use this for anything. Um, I don't really use it necessarily. It's just there for, I don't know, it's like, I don't really use it. So I just leave it as it is, but you can use it for anything, you can customize it. If you want, you can add in like a couch over here, like a couch over here, but I, I don't know. I used to do that, but I don't really do it anymore. And um, one last tip for this plot is, I suggest if you guys want to do lighting, I suggest you use industrial lamp. They're like the best lamp. They're like the best lighting, um, th lighting things to use. So I suggest you do that. So let's get into let's get to the next spot. I'll see you guys at the next spot. So welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry for the um the space on the walls because of the new update. Now there's spares and they can spray anywhere they want. I suggest the, the developer of this game should fix that because it's really annoying when people just come in and spray your stuff. So, so uh, here's the next uh, place I suggest you use. This place is the rent for shop is eighty dollars for five minutes. So right now I'm gonna build a store for you guys and I'm gonna show you guys the process of it. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. I'll probably put. I'll probably make um I'll probably make it speed like I probably speed up this process. Okay, so or I won't I don't know. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Welcome back everybody, um, so I finished the store design for this plot, and um, so what I did was, um, so the same exact name, I put, I put the white sign in front of here, half and half guns, like always, then when you walk in, what I did the same thing, pricing on the left, and I had some, tr and I used this, uh, I had the extra sign which says, lock picks and revolves are also sold here. Because some people will come in and they will uh, revolvers are sold, so I did that. So for here, I kind of ran into a problem. Um, you guys can do, um, you guys can do a own design, but here I couldn't place another bar down. If I sped it up, you could see it. If I place another counter, I couldn't place a bar down. So what I did was I spent spam around and just did it like a corner, and I placed some two three lamps. And there's an owner door, and you can just sell your stuff over here. That's basically it. So let's move on to the next plot. Type of plot. So my next type of plot is um 
my next type of plot is wait let me save this plot oh and before you move your plot save your plot because it, this plot your plot can um if you don't save it your plot is gone basically you design all of it is gone which is bad really bad so the, so the next plot the so this i suggest this plot if you're if you sold so much stuff, you made a lot of profit, and it's, you, want, you want to move into a better shaped type of plot, I suggest this plot. But if you're like, you're like, you don't really care about money anymore, you just want to sell, um, sell products, I really suggest you take the warehouse because this is such a good place. Uh, I I love this place. This is my favorite place. This was added um, in in the new um, update. I love this place. So let me load on my um, plot. So this is I love. So this is I try to make this more symmetrical because I will be using this plot for for all of my cell for my um, base. But well, this is going to be my plot forever. So what I do here is uh, half and half thumbs on top, like always your store name. You insert your store name here. And I put in pressure and negotiable and I said please line up on the logos on the floor, which I will show you how to do. Basically, you can join gangs now. Let's say I'll join Red Mafia. And you can buy sprayers from Team Shop. You go to Team Shop, you can scroll down, and these are four hundred dollars. So as a big man, uh, I decided to do is you put down one spray, they let the somebody stays on there. Right, and you have to wait till you have to wait a bit to spray again, which I will do, which I will show you guys around uh, till I can spray it down. So what I that said was, please sign up on the logos on the floor, which I will put down. So because I had problems with like bunch of people coming in, and I couldn't like, really talk to every one of them. So that's what I did. So I put my um my products um prices on the left as usual and what i did was uh, i basically um placed down some bars over here so that i can um, get through here and i will lock this door and nobody can get through it because i've had so many people come to my store being annoying as hell and just coming and stealing my stuff you just uh, i'll show you i'll give you guys a step after i show you guys around so like I said, I placed these bars down to block people from coming in, and you can use this. You you, ha you should lock this door, and I placed down two doors here so that they have to get through three doors just to get into my personal space to sell stuff. So since I locked those doors, this is it. so this is this is a place you you, sh you should sell your stuff to your customers to. So they line up over here. And what I did here with the counter is I placed down a long line of counters. And I, as always, I placed down the bars and I placed down two little bars on the side. And I have some lighting so, so that so I can see each other. And that's basically it. And also what I did um, on the back is, um, so if they get through this door, and that, and that door, I, I made um, bars here so, I, so they have to get through that door just to get into my store. Which which is like, which is annoying if you have to come in and out every time out in and out of your store. So, it's, but still, it's for your safety and it's really annoying when just people walk in. You can also lock the garage door, which I would not do because that's literally the entry of my, um, of my customers so I don't know what happened there so another so another tip that I want to give you guys is um don't buy your products before like before a customer mm. asks for it so don't like stock on stuff if it, if like if you don't have a customer asking for it like, you you should buy one of your products if it customer came in and asked for you to give them to it and I, I can go show you guys how to um, I can show you guys how to suck stuff right now so for example um, these I, th I don't think that I want 
but I can sh I can show you guys how to do it outside. For example, I can go to wait, let me buy one. I don't know. I told you guys not to buy anything, but I don't. Wait, prices are s handguns are six hundred. Okay, yeah. Oh, holy crap! Handguns are six hundred dollars now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my bad. I was selling it for cheap. I think. Uh, I. Oh my god. It's okay though. See that I made a mistake there. That's okay. So let's see. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. I can change that to seven hundred. So so you take out the product that you want to sell. You go up to the person. You click trade. Then you put in your price. 700 then you send them the trade and you and you see if they buy it so for example that guy didn't buy it but let's see the, if the civilian will buy it 700 so that's basically how you send the person a trade if they buy it it says um, plus um, like seven. How much you want to sell for like seven hundred for me? Exam for example. I kind of lost one hundred dollars this video because I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. Oh, well, I like couple not in this video, but a couple minutes ago when I was not recording, I sold the handgun for me. Oh my god, so I'm not sure if there's another way to do it, but I don't really suggest this way to do it, uh, so you can make, you can uh, claim this plot, this is basically apartment, we can make this into a store, but, which I don't suggest because it's so trash, well not really trash, people have to walk up a stair just to get to your store, which I don't like, so I suggest, uh, I suggest you don't use that plot. Another tip I will give you guys is, if you guys, if you if you have if like before logging off if you have a gun if you have a gun with you and it's in your like loadout it's in your loadout what I suggest you do is click on the item and click V which stores in your backpack which is in your um which is in your inventory when you walk back I just get that if we use you so okay, So, um, so basically, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was the videos on how to create a shop and tips and tricks on a Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.